All right, y'all already know what it is. It's NFL Real Talk. Uh, this video is about our defensive positional rankings. And uh, well, I guess we'll start it off at quarterback. Uh, my favorite quarterback is Prince. I'm a, I'm Ukamar. I'm Ukamar. <laughs> Prince from Nebraska. Yeah, you know, <laughs> exactly. The Prince of Nebraska. Uh, you know, I, I'm a fan of tackling, as you know before. And he can also cover. Uh, that's my favorite. He's aggressive. Uh, he, I also have him at number one. He he can tackle. He's more athletic than people originally gave him credit for. He proved True. that to come by. 439 also. You know, just to... Oh, was it 439? Yeah, 439. He did good. I, I like him. I like him a lot. A lot of people won't agree with it because we don't oh, have... Oh, we uh, have the other guy. We don't have 6 one 2 yeah. 19, 439, 40. Okay, go, go watch videos. <laughs> yes. That's all I got to say. I, although I can say I have I have Patrick Peterson at number two, but okay. that's because it's his overall game. He can return. He, he has a high upside. A, he, if he doesn't work out at corner, you can put him. He's a safety. safety. I have him as my, I have Patrick Peterson as my number one safety. I have him as my number four corner. I have Jimmy Smith from Colorado as number two. <laughs> no <laughs> tackle, Jimmy Smith. <laughs> it ain't like Patrick Peterson tackling. <laughs> Patrick Peterson, they catch the ball on him and just run out of bounds. Okay. You, you saw the A&M game. Well, I, I already said I have Peterson at two. I have Harris at three from Miami. Brandon okay, Harris. yeah, I got Brandon Harris at three. And I, I like him. He's a little under, so what is he, five? We're not undersized, I guess. Yeah, like 5'10". He's not five, dead nine. compared to the rest of them, but he's pretty Yeah, he's he from the U. You know, and you know I, I got a little friend here. I give him credit. He's, he's, he's a Miami fan. Uh, I got Jimmy Smith at four because his tackling is a little off and he, yeah, I mean, he doesn't shed the blocks from the receiver. Yeah. I guess like Kiss, I know his off the field incidents will drop him too. Like, yeah, he might be a second round pick just because off the field. I heard he kind of, I heard he wishy washy off the field. But he, he's tall, he's lanky, and he can go. He, he gets he, it done. He can press also. I like he gets it. it done. Uh, safeties, well, he didn't, he didn't do the safeties, did he? I mean, hey, I got I got enough on safety. Okay, I got Patrick Peterson at number one safety. If you look at all his video, every time he catch a pick, it's a deep ball. I mean, he can clearly play safety. His hip action, his, his hip action is not good. I I don't know. I don't like him too much. <laughs> Basically, I'm, I'm the doubter of Patrick Peterson. Come see about me. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the doubter. I think Peterson could play it could be excellent at safety, like yeah. Ed Reed type, but I also like uh, Razad. Yeah, Razad Dowling. From uh, UNC. Rash Dash High. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's our number one safety. The boy can hit. The boy can play. And my third safety is Robert Sands from uh, West Virginia. Yeah, see, yeah, Robert Sands from West Virginia. Uh, he's like six foot four, six five, two twenty. But boy can play though, he got range. That's what I like about him. Usually you get the, what's that boy, Pete Watt, Patrick Watt no, <laughs> from the no. Cowboys. No, sir. Can't read a play to save his life. Uh, all athleticism got him in the league. Yeah. Um, you do outside linebackers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Von Miller, I, I didn't even have Von Miller on my list because I knew Tampa Bay wouldn't even be able to touch him. So, uh, But he's, he's my number one. I mean, he does everything. He. I mean, he's number one, just traditional 4-3 or 3-4, especially 3-4. 3-4 yeah. outside linebacker, pass he can, he can blitz, he can cover, all his times check out. It took me a while to come around on my second one, but I got Mason Foster from Washington. Yes, sir. I'm a fan of Mason Foster. Look out for him. Um, he's aggressive. He shared blocks. He knows, how to, he knows how to get to the ball. It took me a while because he... he Gets over aggressive sometimes, and I run his position. <laughs> on the way to greatness. <laughs> on the way to greatness. That can be fixed. Yeah, Everything can be else fixed. he does right, and I like Bruce Carter from UNC. Yeah, I have Bruce Carter number three. Um, he's what did I put on him? I mean, he's he's good. He's all my notes. Uh, I put he wraps up, and he's able to diagnose plays real good. So that's kind of any information about him. Um, I also have Martellus Wilson as my. My fourth outside linebacker. If you look at him, man, right he, he he thin on the bottom. His leg, he has no drive. He a little timid. I don't. He he could be outside linebacker to me. He ain't ran a good forty. Yeah, he ran a great forty. Great forty. 
So he's out. I don't know. Just go look at the video. He just don't have a what I put. Not physical. Weak at point of attack. Doesn't really shed blocks. I, I'm describing the scrub basically. Yeah. But, I mean, just off his attributes alone, he can be an outside linebacker. Uh, middle linebacker. Oh, you slacking. We just got to discuss this early. I didn't get to it. I didn't get to that. Uh, hey, you put me on the spot. I got uh, Nate Irvin as my number one. Um, what a, oh, sideline to sideline. Good tackling for him. And he keeps his eyes on the running backs. Okay, Lewis, don't, don't doubt. He keeps his eyes on the running backs. Like, even when the linemen come in, he, you know, he just knocked him off. He's he looking at the running back. Uh, he died in those plays, too. And he, I like the way he blitz. I mean, he, his blitz, when he ain't really, like, he not cutting through there, but he hit the lineman at least. He let, he let him know he's there. Uh, number two, I got Quan Sturdivant uh, from, UNC. from UNC. Something, his tackling is iffy from what I put, but it got better throughout some of the videos. He hasn't ran his 40. He didn't run his 40 at the combine. He didn't run his 40 at the pro day. Uh, yeah, so he, he's hiding something. He's hiding something. Uh, not as athletic as I thought. He had a great game against Tennessee, so don't only watch that game. Because he looks amazing in that game, and then when you watch the other games, it's normal. Uh, he hits the gaps pretty well when they got a blitz. I wouldn't mind having him in Tampa. You know, uh, you wouldn't mind having anyone. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't mind. I got Martin Wilson as my third middle linebacker. Uh, I don't know. He's just like. Well, that's, that's like a bonus, so I mean, he, you have him listed in your top five for inside and outside, which means he's okay, yeah. versatility. He can move around. He, he can move around. He can do some things. He's, He's big boy, he's like 6'4", 250. And he's fast. And he's fast, so you you got to be able to do something with the weight. Uh, I got Kevin Shepard as my fourth outside linebacker. I was high on him before I started looking at the video. and uh, He comes through on some plays, but a lot of the plays he just, he missed tackles. He, he missed too many tackles for me. He missed too many tackles. Um, McKee Mayers, we forgot. Uh, McKee Mayers, 3-4 inside linebacker. Yeah, I, see, I don't see him working too much uh, as a 4-3 linebacker, but in a 3-4, I think he can be versatile, move outside or inside. But I see him more as an inside linebacker in a 3-4. You know, as a versatile type, more like a Carlos Dansby for the Miami Dolphins. Yeah, <laughs> but he doesn't have Dansby speed, though. That, that could be a problem, but he can pass rush. So they could, you know, if he goes to the right scheme, they can use him effectively, move him around, get some mismatches. And when we both think he'll be overdrafted, I drafted too high. He's a scrub, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, defensive tackles, I have Marcel Darius as number one. I know he played 3 4 defensive end in college, but they always have to have two people on him. The boy is a monster, he can go to work, and he comes highly recommended from Warren Sapp. Tampa Bay is finest. I, I like Darius, but I have him as my second defensive tackle. He has, he uses his hands well, and he has great lower body strength. Uh, so upper body strength, you didn't see it too much with the, you know, the way he uses his hands. Or the, yeah, he, the way Nick, he, he throws them, but he, he using them legs to drive. Yeah, he has good drives, good drives. Uh, but I have Fairly as my number one <clears throat> because he is he has very long arms. Only thing about Fairly is will he be motivated? Yeah, but I, I compare him to Jay Radliff a little bit from Okay, I from like Dallas. Jay Radliff. Yeah, you know, so. one of the few players I do like from Cowboys. But he has fairly has great hand movement with the uh, upper body strength. He needs to work. He's the opposite of uh, Darius. He needs to work on his lower body strength. Yeah, the drive. Okay, I can agree with that. My third best uh, favorite defense tackle is uh, Corey. Too legit. Too to legit quit. to quit. Yeah, I got him as my number two. I like the boy. Go check out the Ohio State video. Boy's nice. I like him. He got drive, he got moves. Great burst off the line. He lives in the backfield. He's very agile and his hand use is, is great. Um, I got Nick Fairley as number three. We already talked about him. Then number four, I have Marvin Austin. That dude has a big frame. What I did like about him is he don't he doesn't really use his hands. He 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 hankers there, he 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 can <laughs> He don't move. I guess it's impossible to move the guy. So at least you know you got that going for you. But 
You know, that's boy 3 4. Nose tackle technique. I know. But I, I like the mean streak, though. I, I know the numbers. I think he ran, what, 4 8? 4 8, he, 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 he 38 reps? 38 reps. I, I, I like the numbers, but I don't like him as much. <laughs> He's I, nice. I mean, I have Phil Taylor from Baylor ahead of him. I have. Okay, that's the nose tackle, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Steven, uh, what, Pay? Uh, the guy that. The guy that did all the reps. Okay. The only problem with him is. He's, I heard he ain't kind of injury in front of him, is he? Well, my problem is he's kind of short for a defensive tackle. He has short arms. He's like six one, but his arms are. Oh, yeah, T Rex on. Got T Rex, and he doesn't use him a lot. But he has great burst, and he's pretty agile, and he, he gets in the backfield. He he disrupts the play. I like him. Um, defensive ends. We we <laughs> have our number one. Al Alvin Smith is our number one defensive end. Um, he can put on weight. He's already strong. If you go look at the videos. He does the basketball move. He plays aggressively though. He's yeah. not strong, but he nice. plays with force. He, he swings his club around and he's going to well, use his long arms to get around you. Only, only concern I do have about him is the moves that he throws. It's like he stands up and then he's like, <laughs> then he just zooms past you. It's effective, but you know, the NFL linemen are just going to come straight out and just hit you. Yeah, they can work with that. Yeah, they can, they can work with it. Just do the move and you come off the line. But uh, talk, speaking of number one defensive end for us, we got to point out. You look at our last video. I think we mentioned that we don't have, we don't like Bowers. Oh yeah. Bowers. Well, then we tell y'all about Bowers. Then his pro day, he had mixed reviews. Was thing like four eight nine, four nine two. They said his leg, he was kind of hobbling. They said his workouts were okay. We told you I have him as my number five, and that was before all that even came out. Listen to the draft gurus. Listen to it. This is just a taste. This just is just the preview. first bit of the great. Just a preview. I, I moved him down. At first, I had him as my second or third defensive end. I, I moved What's Bowers down to five. Uh, yeah, number two. Number two, who you have? Number two, I got uh, Cam Jordan from uh, Cal. He can play the 3 4 and 4 3, but I really like him as a 4 3 defensive end. Uh, and he had Bloodline, his dad used to play. I like I like Cam Jordan a lot. I have him as my third. I have Robert Quinn from UNC as my second. Yeah, he he's a great athlete. He has high potential. You know. Yeah. He needs to work on his moves a little bit more. He needs to oh get some, God. He needs to get some variety. Man, I, I have him as number four because he's just a straight speed rusher. I didn't see any kind of run help at all. Like he it was work. Marvin Austin with the run helping. Every time he hurt, he he's speeding. He's nice. Then I saw his little pro day. It's pro day. I, I heard he can't drop back. So you might, want to take, yeah, you might want to take that in. That's a, in other words, strictly 4 3 is what we said. Um, I have Cam Jordan as I mean uh Adrian Claiborne as my number three. I already told you about him. I'll address him later when we do our team needs videos. Um he can shed blocks. I like I like his I like his tenacity, I like mean street, and he has dreads. <laughs> I'm a fan of dreads. It seems like if you have dreads, you're great. Um we already did, you already did Robert Quinn. Oh, okay, we did your number four. Oh, my number four, I, I have Kerrigan. I had to move him up. I, I had to move him up because of uh, 17 reps by Claiborne. I have Claiborne at six now, but he uses his hands great. He has good size, and he's he seems a little bit more agile than uh, Kerrigan, but for some reason I just had to put Kerrigan ahead of Claiborne. He, we'll, we'll see when it's all said and done. But for my 3-4 defensive ends, I, I think the best one will probably be Cam Jordan, then maybe J.J. Watt. I agree. And, uh, and Muhammad Wilkerson. Muhammad Wilkerson. Temple. Athletic. Yeah. And he had a very long one. I think like 35 inch. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so he. Um, well, you know, this is our positional rankings. Uh, we got some more, we got some other videos coming up. We got Team Needs, Tampa Bay. We got a Rams fan coming up. We got Miami. And we should have a Dallas fan, so check us out. Can't tell me nothing. Uh-uh, you can't tell me.